guys and welcome back to the seventh day of Italy vlog. Today you might have noticed this the shirt I bought yesterday. Yeah, it is a tour today because why not? <laughs> so today uh, we're going from straight from Novotel to uh, Roma Airport. So yeah, we're going back to Bangkok today. Quite sad, but hey, we must go back. We're just gonna stay here. Because, like, the weather's pretty cool, like, it's so nice. And, okay, it might not be that safe, but hey, Thailand is like the same thing. Uh, Check-in zone, and look how long the line is already. Like I'm, pretty, I'm sure we're like very early, but the line's already building up. And then there's like no staff over there. Hold on, there's no one over there to take care of us for now. My house dog now because I have to look at my bag, the leader's bag, and my grandma's bag. <laughs> Great. Toilet and look what I just noticed. Look how orange this place is. Okay, I know Easy Jet is like orange, orange theme, but I don't think that they'll even do like this as orange. I didn't even think of that. That's nice, I like it. Also, two funny things happened. First of all, I was playing Pokemon Go over there. I actually conquered it twice. But the first time I was picking the Pokemon, and all of a sudden there's like one of the Mystic uh, player just like conquered the gym. Like, what was that about? <laughs> That's one, right? Two, I asked the guard, uh, where's the toilet? And then he replied to me first thing, just like, not believe. Like, I asked the guard where the toilet is, and first thing he replied, just like, not believe, very good. And then told me the way to the toilet. Kind of awkward, but. Yeah, it's cool, same time. Pass by and we just move around 10 meters. They just started uh, taking care of us now. Finally, after waiting for about an hour, we finally got our uh, boarding pass. PG945 board at 1240. I'm to split over the group and explore the airport now. I'm currently pretty sure in Terminal 1. Okay, there's a bridge too. Okay, there's like some stores up here, and not much to be honest. A lot like, I actually overestimate like how good this airport is, and then yeah, this is what you get for overestimating. Nothing much to see in the terminal there, so I'm going across to the other terminal. Okay, so apparently this is terminal 3, I messed up. And that one is 1 and 2, which is where I'm going right now. I made it out to terminal 1 or 2? Let's go to 1 first, why not? Elevator, apparently, first floor departure and second, I mean the ground floor is arrival and departure and terminal 2. Alright, let's see what we have in here. Yeah, still not much to expect. <laughs> It doesn't seem like they have many like stores in here. Like compare this to New Shidose or Singapore Airport. Like, wow, that's a lot better. This one, eh, I would say it's like the same level as one of Home Airport. Not much stores and it's like commercial boards. Like a lot. <laughs> it's pretty quiet here too. I'm assuming it's because uh, it's Christmas. 
and everyone's already at home, so yeah, there's not many people here. There's not much to expect in this terminal. I seriously mean, like, not much to expect. Look, there's only like counters for Alitalia. Uh, I don't even know if it's like for uh, international or domestic flight. There's only Alitalia like the entire way. And no stores, no nothing. I was saying before my grandma decided to call me again. There's literally nothing. Even like Snap or Alitalia is not there. Like, probably it's because of Christmas, like I said before. I have no idea what they're saying. Like, I don't understand their accent sometimes. Yeah, that's me. I decided to go into Arrival Stone in the airport and there's still not much to There's like some stores for like souvenirs from Italy, basically. Like, you expect that Arrival Zone got like some coffee shops, some stores, and that's it. And like where people have to wait for their friends or like their families to uh, walk out from the immigration. And yeah, nothing to expect. Look at this! I didn't expect like uh, the airport to be like this clear. <laughs> I thought there's gonna be like a lot more of like stores and I don't know. It's probably because Christmas as well. But I'm not sure if there's like what do you call in Thai? You know, there's like carts that they sell food in the street. Yeah, I don't know if there's something like that sim or something similar to that uh, here in. Italy or not, but I don't think there is. <laughs> so I don't think that Christmas affects too much of this place. Okay, we're going to the end of the hallway. There's nothing there at all. <laughs> well, at least I wish there's like some more stores. Just like, probably just like in the immigration. And to be honest, I actually feel kind of bad to like Christian people who's working on Christmas because it's a holiday, and they don't get to rest at all. <laughs> they have to work for all of us. I actually feel kind of bad for them. A little bit of a Rome airport uh, overview. Uh, I'm currently inside like the bridge that connects Terminal 1, 2, and 3. And the reason I'm going back is because of one thing. I forgot to take some money from my grandma. <laughs> Quite silly, but yeah, it happens. So I'm gonna have to go back and then go into immigration straight away, which kind of sucks to be honest, because I want to explore like Terminal Five as well. And I don't even know where it's Terminal Four is. I don't see the sign at all. But I want to go there as well. It just has the immigration. It has like so many things for like girls to buy. Well, obviously I'm not a girl, so. I'm just gonna walk past these, or maybe look at some like chocolate if there's any. I like some snacks like those. Okay, let's see what I'm just say. Yeah. Or at least look at many things to look at. Oh, not those. So <laughs> these giant Oreos. I've never seen this before in Thailand, but. Like the giant one, it looks awesome. There's like more chocolates back here. I didn't even get any more because I already got like a ton of it on in my bag from uh, yesterday shopping. I'm like gonna look for a, like souvenirs, like a little bit for a little bit. So many M and M's here too. No need to wait for 11.55, genius! Because we already have the gate on the boarding pass, so we can just go there straight away. Well, unless, like, they change the gate. Also, I noticed one thing that after I start walking into the duty free, I start meeting, like, uh, my group tour. It's pretty nice. Another one of these. Look how cute it is. Look at that. That's his size compared to my hand. 
That's how small it is. 30 grams. Okay, right now I'm tempted to get this one. I'm not sure what to expect about this, but since it says lemon up here, so I'm assuming it's gonna be good. And there's like all these things. Oh my gosh. Here behind me, there's like uh, to the gate now. And also, I bought the Mentos thing I said earlier. Apparently, it's like $4.90. It was like quite expensive, but hey, try it for once, alright? And I think I'm gonna go to like the A, B, C, and D gate. Because like E gates, there's nothing much now. I'm just gonna go to those four. If it's okay, alright? <laughs> if it's not okay, then yeah. I'm just gonna stop here forever. Well, not forever, of course. Stuck here until like 1.30 in this zone. I was one the mentos is so small, look at that. Let's see. You get to see my live reaction as well. Oh, it's a hard candy. Oh, I don't like it. Well, I kind of like it, the flavor. Not too bad at all, to be honest. So you could buy to the gate B, C, and D because like, if you have to, if you want to go there, you have to go through the immigration. Yeah. I know, it sucks. <laughs> but hey, at least we get to like explore more like in detail about the, this terminal and the e-gate. To walk in and then explore the second floor first before exploring the first floor. I bet there's like some high class stores up here. I would say. Well, judging from that, I can already feel it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it's a restaurant and like Okay, it's basically just restaurant up here. Nice. Very small area. Not much. No. I feel like that guy's talking about me wearing a Napoli shirt. Either he liked it or he said, Oh, let's smash this guy with a Napoli shirt. <laughs> okay. So there's Prada, there's health and care, nothing much to be honest. And there's like a good view outside. There's Ali Talir at triple seven. Pretty sure that's triple seven two hundred. Yeah, it is two hundred. Port back there, that sounds like some sandwiches and all those Italian foods. And I'm not that hungry to be honest. So I'm just gonna keep exploring. But so far, like this second floor and. This zone is kind of like just pure food. Look at that. It's just everything about food. I let me guess. I'm gonna be hungry in about like 20 minutes after walking on this part because looking at all the at all these things. There's like a coffee shop over here, and then it says back there every coffee. Yeah, becomes a ritual. Like it. You know, remember when I said I'm gonna be hungry at about like 20 minutes after walking here? Yeah, I already started feeling hungry because like, uh, what I was planning is like not to eat here and then eat on the airplane, like in flight, sleep and then wake up and then eat another meal. Okay, I might have to change my plan because I have to find something to eat ASAP. Because I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry right now. Look at this, there's no one at all. I seriously mean no one. Because, like, I know it's Christmas, but I did not expect to be, like, no one here. Look at this, it's like a closed down airport at night, but it's daytime. <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense, right? Okay, I might have to find something to eat. I have to walk around, like, a few times to compare price between, like, each restaurant as well. So yeah, apparently one of the people in the restaurant I ordered the food asked me to say the word, quote, don't know, Shabonense, something like that, because I was wearing the Napoli shirt here. So I was like, um, okay, <laughs> I don't know what that means, and I, I don't know if it's rude or not, but if it's rude, I'm sorry, <laughs> I did not mean to. Uh, yeah, by the way, 
apparently the gate E43 apparently is not in this terminal. My grandma said we have to go on a train ride as well. I wonder where it is. Okay, so we're heading this way. I'm assuming it's gonna be like either in another terminal or we're gonna have to wait in the bus. Like, uh, go in the terminal and then go down to the bus and then walk up the stair to the plane. I'm assuming it's either of those two. So we're finally here and here's the train station to the gate E31 to 44. Don't know what to expect and yeah. You're gonna find out with me. Okay, so I assume that's uh, our flight because one is A350, two is High Airways back there. So I'm pretty sure that's our flight there. Okay, is it actually offline because it's pushing back right now? I hope it is. Like pushing back from one gate to another. Okay, so we arrive on the other side. Which way do we go? Left or right? I guess it's this way. There we go. 31 to 44, that way. By the way, sorry that I didn't commentate much uh, in like, the last few scene because I'm eating this, the burger I ordered before. Not even burgers, it's like bagels or something. I don't know what to call it, but it tastes so good. Okay, 4-3 and 4-4, four, 4-3 four, is here, so I'm assuming we have to go down. I'm just gonna look around here first. Um, uh, we'll go down later. There's our flight over there that moved from like uh, there to here. For a second, I was scared of like, wait, did they move the time to take off? And there's a little bit taking off. Sorry, Singapore Airlines taking off. Bye bye, dude. This is a little bit more overview. Like, we ride the train, like, over there, to this terminal. And it wasn't that far, to be honest. For a second, I was scared because it's gonna be quite far. That's what I thought. And apparently it's not at all. Okay, E38. Restaurant and cafe. Probably gonna get some drinks after that uh, small burger store. I still don't know what it's called. Yeah, that thing. Thirsty, though. Okay, I guess we need to drink. Also, you know the best thing about this? If you order something and you want to eat it here, you can look out and see the airplane out there. How cool is that? And yes, I know uh, other airports also have this, but hey, it's just me in Rome for the first time. That's why I find it really cool. I just got this from the store for 3 euros. Uh, Fanta lemon. I'm gonna try it. Let's see how sour it is. Wow, that's good. That tastes so good. I think there's some coins here left over. I decided to like get some food. Like, I already got this one for 140. And I think I'm gonna get something else. Like, right there. Like, there's like fried chicken or something. I just need to get that. I decided to spend uh, 4, four euros 50. I don't know if you can see it that well, but that's the chicken right there. The fried chicken. Like, there, at the corner. I better try this out. Like, I asked her and she's like, okay, you want a spicy one or a normal one? I was like, oh no, 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 no spicy. I'll take the normal one. <laughs> I still got these for 140, like I said before. I mean, I still have some points left, but hey, let's be honest. Let's be honest. When you have money, you don't know what to spend. But when you don't have money, you want to buy everything. About 15 minutes until the plane boards, so I'm just gonna walk around this mini shop over here, duty free. Is that true? Not much.
trash to buy though. There's like the decent chocolate. I mean, I want more. I'm okay with having more, but. Oh my god, I just got this. I remember we used to have this in Thailand, but then they stopped for whatever reason. Yeah, like I said, I want to chocolate. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Okay, like I said before, like before I got this wrong three times, uh, I want some of the chocolate, but I already have like a lot like in my bag. So just gonna walk around and look for some stuff and that's it. Oh my god, there's even shirts like this, that's awesome. I mean, it's for kids, but hey. Imagine if there's like one for like my size, like L size, that'll be awesome. Run in gate E33 zone. And there's this door. I mean it looks really cool, but there's nothing much I can get, I'm pretty sure. Can the surprise? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there's like so many colors like I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, but look at that. Four colors, that's awesome. I mean, I don't think it makes uh, like, any difference except for the appearance, but it still looks cool. Magnets for room. Sapietro. Pretty sure that's where I wa was yesterday. I'm not sure about that though. And pizza. Is that pizza? No, I think it's cheese. Yep, it's cheese. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Let's look at other stores. Because, like, you lie down, you can go to sleep, whatever you want, to, whatever you want to do, and then look out to uh, see the airport. In this case, there's no plane at all. Hey, when you get to lie down here, it feels good, right? I'm just gonna lie down for like a few minutes before I like walk around a bit more and then go to the gate. Why the airport is? That's why I have to lower my volume when I speak to you guys. This is so quiet. There's very little people. Look at that! That's how much people there is in like uh, one gate. Like about. 40, 50 people around there. There's so like little people. I actually kind of like it, but I also don't like it at the same time. Like, I don't like it because it's like, uh, higher chance of like, what do you call, bad things happening to you. I would say that because uh, if you walk alone and there's like one guy following you, well, you're pretty much either like, he's doing nothing to you, or he's gonna probably drop everything from you. That's one, right? Two, I like it. Oh, oh my gosh, I spoke too soon. There's so many people here. Okay, I like it because it's quite crowded and it's safer. Oh, so yeah, you get the point. Okay, going into the gate now. Let me focus that. There you go. This will be our last view in um, Italy. Everyone's wearing Chris uh Santa's hat today. That's awesome. It's because it's Christmas, of course. There's Thai Airways, the flight, hey, the plane we're going on, and that one. Um, pretty sure that's the airport. Is it the old or a new one? I don't know. So okay, we're gonna have to wait for a little bit. Yeah. Having a little 
little bit on the traffic jam. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's Royal Silk Pass. That looks really nice. Okay, we're going to Alright, where is our seat? Is that Viva? I hope there's like something special okay, for us here, because then. it's Christmas. Okay, we're pretty much uh, stuck here. Okay. There's a uh, boarding pass again. Let's see. Oh, yeah. okay. uh, I guess we go around there. My guess would be like over there, I would say. I'll bring you guys back when we got 39. Do you see the red thing there? Yeah, that's all wrong. That right there. Excuse me. 39. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're finally here. Back here as uh, usual. ภาษาสามารถสมรับไปได้สุขภาพประชาชนในประเทศไทยนะครับได้รับประทานนามว่าสิงคโปร์แคนาดาเราวินไทยมีความสูงสามหมื่นหกพันคนหรือประมาณส
the best thing about this is you can eat while waiting for someone to join your game while flying. That's the best thing about uh, eating in flight. Tomorrow's gonna be a very short one because, um, yeah, it's like a uh, continue of like flying from Rome to Bangkok. It's only about like six, seven hours around there. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog here and yes, I'm in the toilet because like everyone's out there sleeping. I don't wanna disturb them, so I have to go in the toilet. See you guys tomorrow.